What's up, it's Coach Jay Pro, and we're back with another round of reflex, Bang. bag, Bang. workout. Okay, let's go. Okay, let it be known. I'm working hard when I ain't on the phone. This ain't a hunt, this ain't a phone. Grind never stopping, I'm keeping it cold. Unlocking the door with the holy key. You're supposed to be this close to me, and hopefully, you want to stay in GOD. Maybe this cold, and I'm talking like no degrees. Today we have a six round, 30 minute cardio boxing workout. This workout is dedicated to my boy, Steven. He reached out to me on Instagram, said he loves the workouts. He just wishes they were longer. Steven, I got you. We're working for 30 minutes today. You don't need your gloves on yet. Just have them nearby. We're gonna jump into a quick warm up, and then it's gonna get sweaty in here. All right, let's loosen up this upper body before we get these gloves on. In five seconds, we're gonna open up our warm up round with arm circles going backwards, nice and wide. Make sure you're really going through these stretches. I know it's tempting to like switch directions here, check your phone, kind of halfway go through the stretching routine. Flexibility is such a key component for any type of boxing training, regardless of what your goals are. The more flexible, the better you're gonna do with boxing. Now we're gonna go to an arm across the chest, taking that right arm right across the chest and using my left arm to pull so I feel a nice stretch in the shoulder. Switch arms here. I really hope one day I'm filming these workouts with either people doing them or some form of a crowd. Cause I don't know, I feel like it would be fun. All right, we're gonna get into the boxer bounce. You know what I mean? I used to work in sales and I used to give these motivational speeches, and sales trainings to like hundreds of people. So whenever I'd be up on stage, I'd look out and see people nodding. Now I'm just in this boxing gym by myself, but we're making it work. Okay, right into that Ollie shuffle. Let's go. I know you all love cardio, so let's get it going early today. Start warming up. Fifteen seconds here. Last minute, we're gonna go to a little freestyle shadow boxing. Shadow boxing, this is also something that you don't wanna slouch on because this is really important to teach you balance. It might feel a little awkward if you're new, punching air, but you don't wanna sleep on shadow boxing, especially when you're using a reflex bag and we're punching that bag and we know that sometimes we're missing. This is the difference between feeling really awkward and uncomfortable or just being like, oh, I missed, okay. Word, no big deal. If you're new, a quick rundown. You just wanna get into your stance, nice and balanced with your dominant hand and foot in the back. For me, I'm a righty, I'm gonna kick that right foot out. So I'm nice and balanced here. We've got the one, that's our lead straight. Two is our rear straight. Three is our lead hook. Four is our rear hook. Five, lead uppercut, and six, rear uppercut. That's it for our warm up. Okay, so this workout is gonna be pretty challenging from a cardio standpoint, not so much. We're not gonna go crazy. There's no 12 punch combinations, a lot of the basics and core defensive moves, but mostly a lot of punches and a lot of movement. So whatever kind of stage of your training or your fitness journey you're at, it's gonna be a good one for you. If you're a beginner, you just go at your own pace with the combinations. Take your time, you get to know the timing of that bag. You can't force it, you can't rush it. Like anything in life, goals. I'd love to see this YouTube channel hit 300K subscribers. Can't force it, one workout at a time, one combination at a time. Okay, first of six rounds coming up. 
We're gonna get in position and we're gonna open up with a flow one, two. This is our light, sustainable pace. I'm tapping my bag and I'm bringing those hands right back to my chin. If your bag moves differently than mine, you just find the rhythm and timing that works for you. Think of your flow as like, you should be able to do this for the whole three minute round if you had to. I trained three clients today, so my arms are already hurting. All right, we're gonna step out for one minute. We're gonna get things going with a one, two. Nice, sharp jab and then across for one minute. If you're new and you need to slow it down, you take as much time in between as you want. This is our ideal pace for that one, two. We want to control that bag. We're focusing on where we're hitting and when. Right down that center line. All right, we're gonna step out. We're gonna go back to that Ali shuffle. Nice and light on the balls of our feet. It's all about that nice, light footwork. I always tell my clients, boxing is more like a dance then a show of strength. Now we're gonna add a two to complete that combo. One, two, two. We wanna be graceful and powerful, not just Aah! crazy. One, two, two. So let's set up that one, two with nice, light, snappy punches. And then we can bring a little bit more sauce on that last two. I know you saw those aqua bag workouts. My reflex bag folks were worried. Oh, come on. You know what we're all about here. Ah! And time. We're gonna turn that intensity up a little bit going around two, but we're gonna follow a similar format. So we're gonna go back to that flow one, two for 30 seconds. Our combo this round, it's gonna be a one, two, five. Jab, cross, lead uppercut. Then we're gonna hit a little full body cardio with the boxer bounce. And then we're gonna add another two to that combo. One, two, five, two. Wherever you're at with your fitness, your boxing training journey, I appreciate that you're here doing this workout. Okay, back to that flow one, two. Let's go, we're turning it up here. Oh man, I'm gonna be dead at the end of this one. I swear to God. All right, let's step out for one minute. We're gonna work a one, two, five. Jab, cross, lead uppercut. You notice that kind of like putting a slip rear in there off the two so that I'm in perfect position to throw that five. When I follow through with that two, I'm right here 
and I can throw that five. If I, if I throw a traditional straight, then I'm in a harder position. But if I follow through, pop, I'm putting myself right there in a good spot. Anytime it's cardio day, just focus on a lot of punches. Form doesn't have to be perfect. Doesn't have to connect every time. But that's what we want to do here. High volume. One more. Right into that boxer balance. Let's go. Similar to Ali shuffle but I'm shifting side to side. Ollie shuffle, we're here. Boxer bounce, we're here. Really working the calves here and my balance on the balls of my feet. It's that Muhammad Ali footwork. That's what we want, nice and light. All right, last minute. One, two, five, two. Jab, cross, lead uppercut. Cross, where's the power? It's on that last cross. Watch out, that bag is trying to hit you back. That's what makes these workouts so much fun. Because I get a little bit more of some back and forth action. Again, if you're new, and you need to slow it down, nothing wrong with that. Let's go. One more. And time. Round three, we're gonna switch up the format a little bit. We're gonna open up with a 30 second freestyle, which is my favorite thing to do on a reflex bag. I love that we're doing this format, but if I can just do one thing, it would just be a freestyle. So you can just be loose and relax and get in that rhythm. We're gonna open up with that 30 second freestyle, and then we're gonna work a power flow one, two. So consistent pace, but we're gonna slow it down and drive a little bit more power. Then I'm gonna challenge you for one minute with the combination. It's gonna be a one, three, jab, lead, hook. We're gonna go back to that power flow for 30 seconds, and then we're gonna finish with another 30 second freestyle. When you're freestyling, be loose and relaxed. I say it all the time, I'm gonna to continue to say it. A lot of times, beginners, we're too stiff here. We're flexing, we're concentrating. Ease up, relax. Take the power down, get loose. Here we go, starting now. Okay, now we're gonna get into position. We're gonna go to that power flow with our jab and our cross. So I'm still continuous, but instead of speed, I'm putting some power on it. All right, for one minute, we're gonna work a one, three. Jab, lead, hook. Now the hook is the hardest punch on the reflex bag because of the timing and the angle it's coming from. So if you're a beginner, you're not throwing hooks yet, I don't want you to rush it, just work a double jab. That's the modification, work a one, one. But if you're with me, we're working that one, three. Use your straight punches to steady your bag in between combos. So instead of doing this in between your combo, when you hit that one three, if you wanna straighten it out, just use your jab. Or your cross. Hey, 
Push, push. One more. Pa, pa. Back to our power flow. Let's go. We're really going to open it up now. Push, 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 push. All right, I want you to push it a little bit here for this freestyle. I know we're tired. Let's go. And time. These are the moments going into the second half where I'm usually like, thank God for boxing training. Imagine just if we just had to run every day, like I'm sorry if that's your thing, but it's just boring. You see people on the treadmill in the gym and they're just miserable, clunking away. I mean, I do it because it helps, but to be able to hit your cardio and to be having fun and to get this type of release, I don't think it exists anywhere else. I know I would be in rough shape if I never discovered boxing training. Going into the second half, we're gonna keep a similar format. We're gonna open up with another 30 second freestyle, loose, relaxed, have fun with it. Then we're gonna go to a jump rope, 30 seconds. Our combination this round is gonna be a one, two, one, six, back to the jump rope, and then back to a freestyle. So 30 second freestyle, second half, let's go. Go right into that jump rope. All right, this part isn't totally fun. <laughs> but the combinations, the boxing, I know you're with me. Now we're gonna go to our combination, one, two, one. Six, jab, cross, jab, rear uppercut. The modification, if you're a beginner, just work a one, two, one. One, two, one, six. Okay, now we're going right back into that jump rope. 30 seconds left. You need to slow it down, slow it down. Just try to stay moving. All right, finish with a freestyle. Let's go, open it up. This. 
And time. This is it. We're in the home stretch. You know the motto, finish strong, always. We're going to open up round five with a flow one-two for 30 seconds. We're going to work a little bit more defense in these next two rounds because when you're tired after four rounds of boxing, that's when it's the most important to still be able to defend and not get lazy with our head movement. So for one minute, we're going to hit a one-two, slip lead, roll rear, two, five. If you're a beginner, you need to modify. Just hit a one-two, slip, roll, and then reset. Then we're gonna hit that ollie shuffle and boxer bounce back to back and end with another flow one, two. So it's a busy round coming up. You go at your own pace, but just try to stay moving throughout the three minutes. I don't care if you look ridiculous. I don't care if you miss every shot, but if you stay moving, you're gonna benefit. You're gonna feel good when you finish this workout. So back to our flow one, two. Make sure you're slowing it down and bringing those hands back to the chin here. A lot of times I see this. You don't want to do that. Okay, combination this round. One, two, slip lead, roll rear, two, five. So nice and slow. One, two, slip, roll, two, five. This, 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 what, what? This, this. this is tricky stuff, like this is no joke. If you're able to pull off this combination, then you know, you've probably gotten pretty far with your bag and you push past the point of giving up. If you're not there yet, don't sweat it, it'll come. Hey. I think anyone can develop with a heavy bag and land these tough combinations, but there's something that's traditionally satisfying about being able to go through some of these combos on a moving target, because this is real tricky stuff. Okay, one minute of straight cardio. Let's go. Ali shuffle. I post videos of when I first started and I look completely ridiculous. But when you focus on the right stuff and you're not training for ego, trying to look cool or look tough, just taking your time to get the timing right, to learn your bag, then you, you know, you're surprised how quickly it comes along as we go to a boxer bounce. A lot of movement here. All right, one more flow, one, two, let's go. Let's increase that speed a little bit, come on. Ten seconds. If you lose your bag, like I just did, just catch up with it. And time. Nice work. This is it. Sixth and final round. Take a second to just take that in. Movement. It creates motivation. It feels good. It's a stress release. That's why we do it. I've said it before. I'm not here to turn you into a professional boxer. I'm here to help you maximize your physique and your mental health with boxing training. Because that's what this is all about. To me, I love the sport of boxing. I love to compete, but there's nothing as great as waking up every day, feeling balanced, feeling happy, feeling motivated, having energy throughout the day. To me, if you're waking up every day with a balanced mindset, 
You're doing it right. We got a lot going on through this last round, so I'm gonna walk you through it. First, we're gonna open up with a flow one, two. It's gonna be our last flow of the day, so let's hit it here. Let's go. Push through it. Okay, combo for one minute. It's gonna be a one-two, slip lead, one, one-two. What I want you to do is I want you to circle out. So one-two, slip lead, and then one, one-two as you circle out to your lead side. So we're working a little bit of footwork here. This is when defense counts the most, when we're tired. One, two, slip, one, one, two. If it feels sloppy, if it feels awkward, don't worry about it. Just keep moving. One more. <laughs> Little active recovery here. Slip, slip, roll, roll for 30 seconds. Use your bag as the center line. Slip, slip, roll, roll. <laughs> Always got my eye on the bag. I never want to be blind. Right back to the jump rope. Let's go, last minute of work. So, 30 seconds. We're gonna cap this workout off with a speed freestyle. And what I want you to do is I want you to empty the tank and I want you to push yourself a little bit harder than you planned on today. See all these videos, all these trainers on Instagram, give it 150% every workout, every second. It's bullshit. It's about a little bit more at the right time, starting now. And time. Take that in. Nicely done. You just made it through this 30 minute cardio session. Please, before you go, don't forget to throw your boy a like and comment. It really makes a difference to help me grow this channel, which I'm absolutely going to have to do if I'm going to have the resources to keep putting out these workouts every week. So thank you for all the support and I'll see you soon. <laughs>